Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're watching Zootopia Plus. And if you want to watch more furry stuff, get this video to 15,000 likes. And check out our Patreon for the full commentary. And remember to subscribe so you never miss a single Ooh, furry ow, video. Ow, we're furries. Ow, ow, we're ow. all furries now. Oh my god, is, Mi is Mickey Mouse the first furry? He backs it up, though. He does. He did be twerking. Did he invent twerking? Why is this animation fucking awesome, though? They're kind of a proud, scared combo. I mean, Judy! Give me Judy. We haven't even seen her ass yet. Can we be quiet? Can we, can oh, but look, she's in like casual clothes though. She looks hot. Wow, a girl wearing casual clothing. Let me not a girl. She's not Let any girl. She's Judy Hopp. I love you guys. This is from the movie. Wait, is this actually from? Oh, it's their perspective. We get to see the shitty parents' perspective <laughs> during the movie. This is just what I wanted. That's what I was asking the whole time. These film. are the, my are favorite characters in the movie. <laughs> well, now we get to get the confirmation on whether they, like, how racist they were. You know what I mean? Oh, baby. Molly's on the track. <laughs> Dad, oh take my the kids God, home. <laughs> this is hilarious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the voice acting is so bad. This gives a uh, Lion King one and a half. Ow! Oh, these <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker dropped his keys down the suit. Ooh, I'm gonna make purple. <laughs> She's doing wires. If you live like at least an hour away from the closest city, you probably know how to do this. I can't believe you did that joke <laughs> in 2023, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, breathe, Stuart. Dude, why does that car look like Toe Mater? Did you see the fucking teeth that shit had? Nah, country girls make do, bro. Where is it? Ah! Oh no, this is the racist guy. No, ex-racist, retired racist. Wouldn't this scene just like enforce his racism because like the rabbits can't drive? <laughs> and be free. Oh, the nudist, dude, all the best parts of the movie, the nudist colony, the rabbit parents, they're all here. I feel like this goes against the entirety of their characters as well. Just because I feel in the in the first movie they're like, "Don't try, Judy. Don't try and be a better person." Yeah, like, just let stay, the stay baby in our city. Die. Dude, like, why do let they the care? Baby die. They have four million children, and they they pump in a new baby out of that rabbit pussy every thirty fucking seconds. This is against the canon, and I just like can't support it. <laughs> Wait, this is like the Mario Odyssey Sand Kingdom. Do you think people are racist against the rabbits because they don't stop reproducing? Their damn rabbits are taking our goddamn jobs. <laughs> that's probably- Oh my god, that's the movie! Oh my- It connects everything together! Try is, everything! But that, but, oh my god, that's awesome. They should have tried making a good show. <laughs> you caught me! <laughs> it's mostly an accident. Just like Judy Hopps. Mostly an accident, like most of the population of our city. Rabbit condoms don't exist. You're off the train. <laughs> what is the his ass? His fucking ass. I see where Judy gets her ass from, bro. They haven't gone 10 minutes without fucking in a long time. Like, there should be, like, a parent's scene like halfway through this episode. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why they're so on edge because they haven't fucked in the past 30 minutes. This is like so much beyond <laughs> the normal stakes of the die! movie. Die! Also, that kid almost killed himself. Do you think like maybe they're suicidal? They're about 16. Oh my god. Wait, they're, oh, oh, my god. oh my god, there oh is a sex scene. God. Oh my god, oh editor, censor this shit. Oh my editor, god, we can't be having that in the video. Editor. Oh god, my eyes, make it stop. Oh god. Next stop, Bunny Burrow. Oh my goodness, the baby's just autistic. Oh my god, these episodes are way shorter than I so thought. Fast. What? What? Oh, the episodes are only There's six three minutes. Three minutes of credits. What? There's three minutes this of credits. <laughs> this video is going to be shorter than I thought. Yeah, I guess it does, like, animation wise, it does look pretty similar to the movie, so it probably took a while to animate these amazing uh, scenes. Previously on the, the Real Rodents of Little Rodent. They're doing a fucking Real Housewives parody? <laughs> no Are you way. kidding me right now? I've never seen the actual show, so I have no idea what's going on right now. But Likewise. No way. I have. This is a perfect adaptation. Jack, out of 10. Out of 10 right now. Like, how many times would I bang her? Been there, done that, and I'm never looking back. I hate cooking. Are you more of a Brianka or a Christine guy? Oh, Christine's kind of slays though. Oh, charisma though. She texts. Okay, Goyles. I know you're all wondering which this one. This is so well it's animated. Am I tripping dude, it's, right it now? It is very it's, good looking. It looks ridiculously good. 
<laughs> like the camera zooms and everything. And the sound effect. Is that scratch? I actually really like this. Like this is the camera work too is super engaging. At the end of the day, this is still the real housewife. So I can't get into this. Hey there, cousin. Oh, shit. She asked me to be her shoe of honor when we were six. Shrew of honor. I fucking oh. hate this. This is a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> you are so funny. Do you think they're going to have like a cheese... A cheesecake for their for their wedding, like a cheesecake, because they're rats. I mean, screws or shrews. I heard she's not even related. So, do you guys still like this? Like, what's I'm the I'm a big fan actually. Well, it just appeals to my interest because I love rats and I love housewives. I love this one. No. Ew. Hate it. No. I was gonna say it looks like shit. If I do, I would love to be one of these shows, and I'm just the one dude, like <laughs> fucking just like you look like shit right now. Fruit Kill video. yourself. Oh. And it looks like it's trash day. Here, I already have your dress. <laughs> this is so dramatic. <laughs> this is ridiculous. How authentic would you say this is, Jack? This is very authentic. The drama is real. The fucking backstabbing is real. The camera is work is like, I'm almost dizzy almost, but it, it's like it, realistic. Next, I need a Love Island parody where Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde try and compete for the love. Spending money always makes me feel better. Oh my God, did you see this leopard print jacket? Wait, th this is where Judy Hopps saves her life. This is where Judy Hopps saves her life in the movie. Oh my God. Oh my God. This it is where Judy Hopps no, look at. It oh explains my. all the details that people were asking. Like what the fuck was that shrew doing when Judy saved her? I was asking that question when I was watching the movie. I have to go. <laughs> now Fru Fru's not gonna get married. Oh, she, cause she saw Judy's ass and her ass will never be that big. That's why Fru Fru's crying right now. You know I don't go by that name anymore. <laughs> I Do you want to build a snowman, Furfru? Do you want to build a cheese man? <laughs> it doesn't Didn't have, have to, to be a cheese man. man. Okay, Bree. <gasps> oh, true. Wow. This is not like the real shit. This is fake. There's not enough cheating. There's not enough like domestic There's not enough abuse cheese manipulation. <laughs> That was beautiful. Norm of the North! Last minute to your bouquet. Ooh, night howlers. Very trendy. Night howlers. Oh my Whoa. god, that's the thing that makes the beasts beat. That's what makes the predators predators. I like that that was just like a genuinely dramatic and fucked up like part of the plot in the movie and they just made it a joke for the end of the episode. <laughs> this whole thing just feels like they took the two best parts of the movie which is Judy and Nick and, and then everything else is left. So far this needs at least 600% more Judy and 10% more Nick Wilde. Until he was apprehended with a giant donut by ZPD's first... They made an episode about the weasel that Judy fucking captured. But it's because it's supposed to show that, like, there's two sides to every crime. Like, sometimes people act out of desperation. It's a very deep message. Like the original movie, might I add. Maybe they're right. Maybe. There's a song? Oh, I, that Music. piano chord came in. I thought it was about a break out It of is the Duke song. the Musical. My name's Duke. I love sucking dick. Young. With the world. Oh my god, it sounds so bad. If this was a Family Guy song, it would be middle of the pack. Seth MacFarlane can actually sing, though. Besides this small time crime Dude, help the old lady. She's about to die. Look at her. She's shaking. He stole $3 out that woman's purse. What are you doing with $3? I'm gonna buy one Snickers. I swear it the vocals are mid, but like the backing track kind of goes hard though, okay? I'm not gonna be honest with the you. The right instrumental now. is good. He's just a weasel. He's lived on the streets. You think this kid ever got singing lessons? You think a weasel from the streets got singing lessons? I've heard Cor plenty of weasels sing better. You don't know the struggle. The surgeon with This got a lot more fucked up very quickly. What the fuck? He's selling other people's organs and they just brush over that like it's nothing? <laughs> That's the true thing. Like, he doesn't want to be a small time evil person. He wants to be a big time evil person. This is giving like the same as like, how bad can I be? I was thinking that. Me. Just put, put the biggering song on this. 
is the rest of this episode just this song? Like, they got seven minutes, and they deadass used five of them for this song. That's actually funny. They could have done this with any character, and they picked the one character who cannot sing at all. And just one character. of the most forgettable characters in the movie. Like, it's a character that... Yeah, because I literally forgot, I forgot that them. he was in the I'm movie. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot them, okay? Is this a drug metaphor? Did he just wake the up? The old from, like, lady's a drug still coma? there. She's still there. He's been OD on heroin for like six hours, and she's still there. This is like Philadelphia Simulator, bro. I and choose to. Wait, so oh no, he was on a shroom trip and he had an ego death, and now he realized that stealing from people is bad. He That's what this was. Ego death. He oh experienced ego death. That's what happened. Someone in chat, I had the exact same thought as they said. This OMG okay, this is going on for so long. Like everybody in the chat is over this song. They say stop singing. Like we get, hit by get a car, it, please, bro. Please die. Please <laughs> die. Oh my god, she actually got hit by a car. Oh my fucking god, she actually got hit by. I'm okay. <laughs> Okay. It's just it was worth it. They brought me it around. It was fucking they worth it. They brought me around. Make they it big me time, back. babe. <laughs> I, they lost me, and then they brought me back. Freak out, lady. And I'm sure you'll be fine. That was a, that good, was a good that ending. Was a good ending. This one sucks compared to the other ones. What the fuck does that mean? The first two were awful. That's what I'm saying. They all fucking suck. Dude, no, get, think about it. They're supposed to be like the Kardashians or something, right? The only reason the shrews get so much screen time is because they have connections. They're fucking Hollywood, bro. Think about it. It's meta. Just like the Godfather. They're mafia and Kardashian parody at the same time. I'm going to say something fucked up. I've never seen the Godfather. Yeah, well, it just insists upon itself. Like, it's, it's honestly not worth the watch. <laughs> How much accidental shrew slaughter is there on a daily basis? Like, you gotta really watch your feet. <laughs> right there! There you go, some fucking rats just died. Zootopia was not made for everyone. I feel like there's reasons why these animals don't live with each other because, like, people just don't respect you. Like, the, the city is not built around all the different animals living in prosperity. That's true, like, a lot of this seems like more of, like, a government, like, logistic issue like if you're a fucking elephant like you can't be out here staring at the ground 24 7 not to step on a shrew like that's not my fucking business bro yeah like we like we've been saying segregation is just for the greater good you'll never feel small i love that bicycle bitch got a tricycle i hope he gets hit by the fucking car man nice tokyo drifting bro holy shit dude this is gonna be the new fucking kia soul hamster commercial right here bro this is it look at this guy fucking drifting right now holy smoke and with grandma's bakery we started to feel like maybe we belong grandma's about to die man they're waving the death flags on grandma not gonna lie <laughs> if she dies i'm gonna laugh so fucking hard <laughs> i want her to die so bad Norma the North, did you see that shit? More Norma the North representation. I have to respect the amount of Norma the North representation. That's him, that's Norm as a kid. Young Norm. This is before he went on SNL. You're in an awful big rush. Well, how are you possibly inconvenienced by this? Who is this guy? He's cool, bro. I respect him. Back off. Make me fluff face. Someone ought to teach you a lesson. Aren't polar bears like way stronger than basically any other fucking land mammal? Dude, it's a child polar bear versus an adult fucking rhino, man. Okay, well, we're power scaling terrestrial animals now. Look how small he is, dumb fuck. Put the bear down. Do they have guns? Can you just like shoot him? <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna play with his balls. That's funny. He's gonna like claw his eyes out and like go into his ear and eat his brains. That would be pretty sick if they did that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this makes me really proud to be Italian right now. Like, as an Italian-American, like, this is what my brothers and sisters had to go through, you know what I mean? And I just think it's being so beautifully represented right now in Zootopia. I'll say it here first, this is better than The Godfather. We created jobs for those in need. This is mafia propaganda right now. Pro-mafia movie. They funded this episode. This is, like, what the mafia would do, because they would do things for the public good so that they have yes. like a good image and people wanted to like root for them the family you have 
That makes you rich. She is dead. But they didn't fucking show her. Yay. She died. Do you remember that old ass meme? Like, that's how mafia works. That's this episode, bro. Salud. <laughs> Salud! That episode, I think that was the best episode. That wasn't the worst one. I don't know why so many people in chat were freaking out. Back that ass up, Mickey Mouse. Was he shaking it for the for Walt, you think? Well, I mean, he'd be required to. Part of the job description. You have to shake your ass for for, for Walt Disney. That's It's a historical fact. We've got a spectacular show lined up with some amazing talent. Can we talk about how every fucking furry cartoon has to have their annoying Chip and Dale gay hamster characters? Yeah, let the hamsters be straight for once. Let them be straight. Hello, Zootopia! Oh, thank goodness. Interesting he said, oh, I'm goodness. Does that imply that he's religious so he wouldn't want to use God's name in vain? Or maybe, like, the concept of a god doesn't exist in the Zootopia world. This is a godless society. I can believe that. Yo, North of the North! My face when I see any polar bear ever. I'm gonna go on an expedition to the Arctic just so I can say, look, it's North of the North! <laughs> boundaries, boundaries, cool house. Oh my god, they're gonna dance together. Did they actually get Idris Elba, Idris Elba for this? This is his greatest role. Is that supposed to be Simon Cowell or whatever his name? Cowell. Oh my god. How did you say that? How do you exist? <laughs> they should make him a cow. He's Simon Cowell. That's his name, right? And where's your partner, my love? Oh, my partner? Partner. See, they are gay. It is a gay innuendo. Why else would they use the word partner? There's no other context in the English language. There is none. Where you use the word partner. Back step, back step, back step, back step. Give him some music. This isn't even fair. What the fuck? This is fucked up, dude. No, no, you know why? It's because he's <laughs> fat. And these game shows like to put people who are fat on stage to make fun of them and laugh. You're done. Simon Cowell, chill out. No way he's back. No Daddy way. is yeah. back. No way. Yeah. Oh my oh my God. God. That's actually hype. Excuse me? Maybe not all cops are bad, bro. They already got eliminated. Go home. That's all. Are they about to play Party Rockers? Damn it. I thought they were going to play Party Rockers. We party rock. Party Rockers in the house tonight. Can we all agree this is fabtastic? They were eliminated already. You can't, what? How the fuck did the show work? I'm gonna smear my mascara. We have our winner! Yes, yeah. They they made her too thick. Am I wrong? They made her too thick. That was Kung Fu Panda for gay people. It was a dream. It wasn't even a good dream. The bad episode was just a dream the whole time. That's one of those dreams that you wake up and kill yourself afterwards. You are one hot dancer. You have the app too? And then they fucked in the workplace. No, nah, I hate it. It's just annoying. They're just an annoying little guy. Let them fuck in the workplace in peace, Eden. I want to bite of 87 his ass. Like, he's annoying to me, okay? You know, I think the main problem with Zootopia Plus is there's not enough, like, sexy characters. I hope this episode changes things. I thought the plus was going to be adding more sexy characters, but so far it's been the same characters the whole time. What if it was Zootopia Plus size so they only have the fat characters in the movie? That's actually funny. That would be cool. That would be cool. Shrub salads. Why, thank you. Enjoy our three district cheese selection. See, now this place is inclusive of all the different animals, but most of society isn't. But if you go to a fucking restaurant, they have rat tables. Like, what the fuck am I in? Why would you even want to serve the rats? Because, like, the tip is a percentage of your order. They're paying for three small cubes of cheese. They probably charge the same amount for them. Like, they're scamming the smaller animals. That's part of the discrimination in this world. They just didn't explicitly point that part out. Do we know what we'd like to drink? Water for the table, fresh rain, sparkling stream. Ableism. This is an ableism episode. We're supposed to laugh at people who are slower minded than most people. And I will not laugh at ableism unless it is funny. And this isn't funny, so I can't laugh at this ableism. Excuse me. Him. I'll be right. Do they have one waiter working this entire restaurant? They're losing all their money because they're fucking s spending all their time waiting to the rats who order three cubes of cheese, bro. <laughs> they can't afford to pay their staff. Bubbly. For later. He's kind of set. Why did he look kind of hot there? Seriously? Is that what we're doing right now? Don't act like you weren't thinking the same thing. You're getting desperate. Jack's getting desperate out here. What are you talking? Look at him. This is a little 
weird. Feels like a bit of a health card violation. He's trying to riz up the waitress even though he's on a date. Flash is trying to cheat on his girlfriend right in front of her. What? Lactose intolerance. <laughs> Marry me? No. What the fuck? No. You were just hitting on the waitress. Way. I hate this so much. Aww. Whoever wrote this episode, you you probably have a very nice life, but... I think mean, they work for Disney. It's a pretty good job, all things considered. We're in a... Rush. <gasps> it all connects. It all connects. Now that's cinema. Say it with me, guys. Now that's cinema. <gasps> I think I'll walk. What'd you guys think? I thought it was pretty good. Honestly, you know, it's incredible. It's like Zootopia plus like more, plus more thought, more beautiful production, more impeccable writing, more stellar comedy. YouTube, comment down below what you thought of that show uh, and comment down below other furry things you should watch. Thanks to our patrons. Alejandro Paredes, Asmus Bioga, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamlu, Communism is One People's iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, James, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Jonathan, Helio, I Love Spilling the Milk, Isaiah Alfred, Kamui, Night VDB, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Misty Skies, Native, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Puffles, Remuel, and Steven Sanchez, Terrence Sills, Useless Grunt, Val Explicit, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.